Hello, this is Chad Sinclair with Corby. Let's talk about the individual side of an employer-sponsored retirement plan for business owners with no employees that allows for salary deferred contributions on a pre-tax or after-tax basis. Earnings in a 401k plan accrue on a tax-deferred or tax-free basis, respectively. The taxpayer can have other retirement plans and contributions are not required. The simple IRA, simple 401k, traditional and Roth 401k are all conflicting individual strategies with the solo 401k. The highlight of the self-employed 401k is the ability to contribute to the plan in two ways. For 2020 and 2021, as an employee, you can make salary deferral contributions equal to the lesser of $19,500 or 100% of your compensation. If you're at least 50 years old, your savings options are even higher because you can add an extra $6,500 in 2021 in catch-up contributions each year. Then, as an employer, you can make a contribution up to 25% of your compensation each year, up to a maximum of $57,000 in 2020 and $58,000 in 2021 in combined contributions, which are employer contributions plus salary deferrals. If you're over 50, your combined employee and employer annual contributions can exceed $63,500 for 2020 and $64,500 in 2021. Contributions can be made from earned income, this is calculated for Schedule C and partnerships as earnings after the deduction for half of the self-employment taxes and any contributions made from the business income to the plan. For S corporations and C corporations, you could use your W-2 wages. Again, there are some limits to the contribution amounts for these 401k plans. Elected deferrals can be made up to 100% of compensation subject to the annual overall contribution limits. Employer non-elective contributions can exceed 25% of earned income or the annual overall contribution limits, whichever is less. Keep in mind that for this plan, the company cannot have any employees other than the taxpayer and spouse. There are optional participant loans and hardship withdrawals possible, but this will add an administrative burden. Form 5500 also will have to be filed annually.